Yo boys, welcome to a Rust best settings guide for 2023. Starting off, you want to go to options. Going through the list here, we'll just individually go through it all and then I will explain to you what's the best settings and how to apply them properly to your needs. So first off is field of view. I recommend just playing field of view 90 because if you play it any lower, you're just really not gonna be able to see anything and it kind of doesn't even look that good in my opinion. So just make sure you have this thing maxed out now the combat settings that came out about six months ago, like the head bob, crosshair, hit cross, hurt flash, etc. These settings I honestly kind of recommend having off. Head bob, like, do not play with this on. If you play with head bob on, it will just mess up your combat and your PvP and just everything, like, so much. So make sure you have this off. Crosshair is personal preference. But in my recommendation, if you are going to play with a Crosshair, download something like Crosshair X rather than using the in-game Crosshair because the in-game Crosshair, in my opinion, just kind of looks really bad. It looks like it's like 240p quality and I just don't really like it that much. But experiment with this one and just kind of see if you like it. Uh, then Hit Cross. I personally have this on. It just makes it so much easier to tell if you're actually hitting somebody and how many times you've hit them. It'll basically just show an X like Call of Duty. It's basically like just a hit marker really from COD. Um, so yeah, I recommend having this on. Hurt Flash, have this off. This will literally just flash the screen anytime you get hit, anytime you take full damage, anytime someone hits you with even just like a simple thing like a rock. So just make sure you have this off because it will just mess up your visibility so much. Your compass visibility. I personally have this on and I do not recommend turning it off either because if you turn this off, you really just will not be able to call out uh, positions to your teammates. So you won't be able to see uh, guy east, guy west, any of that stuff. And then having it on something like a hold or a toggle means that you have to kind of key bind it, which in my opinion isn't really that good because then you have to key bind every single time you get into a fight. And it's just that extra step uh, when you're PvPing. So yeah, I just recommend just having this on. FPS counter, boys. I have this basic. I only really like seeing my FPS. I don't like seeing all the other stats in the game because um, honestly it kind of throws me off like if I see my ping and I constantly see my ping go from like 9 to like 30 or 40 I don't know it's just like a mental thing for me so I just have this uh, as basic so that way I can see what my FPS is but then that's it but if you do want to see your ping and etc uh, then have advanced plus ping on if you have advanced on you see some other options as well and then basic is just the basic FPS and then off it won't show you any of that information so uh, yeah, just kind of experiment with this. If you have pretty bad ping, then maybe do advanced plus ping. So that way you can actually see how your ping is affected in different areas to maybe try to reduce yeah, your but ping. Apart from that, I would just have this on basic, uh, just so you can see your FPS. Roach presence, turn this off. And then down to censorship. Nudity, I have as underwear, just because, you know, if you're like streaming and stuff, I really don't think it matters, honestly, if you have like uncensored. But, you know, if you're streaming and things like that um, on, like, Twitch and stuff, I would just have it as underwear. Also, I just think underwear looks the cleanest. Uh, pixelated, I wouldn't actually have because, like, when you're fighting things like nakeds and stuff, uh, this will actually kind of block the visibility of the person's body. So, yeah, I just recommend having underwear on. Hide signs. I do have this um, off so that way I can see signs. Um, but yet again, if you are streaming and stuff, then have this on so that way you don't see signs. You know, if someone's got something, you know, racist on a sign or whatever, then I would definitely have this on so that way you don't have that on your Twitch stream and stuff. Show blood. I have this on just it makes the visibility of being able to see if I've hit someone or not that uh, slight bit greater as well. So I have show blood on. Internet audio streams. I have this on. Sensor recordings, I don't have this on. Yet again, if you're Twitch streaming, have this on, but I don't. Limit flashing, um, I don't have this on, actually. Um, you can experiment with it, but it you really won't notice any difference. Uh, streamer mode, of course, if you're streaming, have this on. If you don't, have it off. Um, if maybe you do want it on and you're not streaming, so that way you get different names and stuff, have it on. But yeah, again, really doesn't matter unless you're streaming. 
uh, physics, Max Gibbs, have this zero, boys. Do not have this up, like, at all. This is for when doors and stuff break. Uh, so if you go on raids, your FPS will literally go to zero if you have this up. So just make sure you have this completely at zero and off. RGB lighting, I do have this enabled. Um, you really won't notice this unless you're in, like, a clan base or some rave party role-playing thing. So, yeah, just keep this enabled. And now brightness, this goes hand-in-hand hand with the RGB lighting. If you want the RGBs being extremely bright, then of course have it up. And then if you don't, just have it down. It's as simple as that, really. Going on to the next thing, which is user interface. Now, this is a lot more personal preference, but I will just give my general idea and census of, you know, playing the game for thousands of hours. And then you guys can copy it if you want, but if not, definitely go through this and apply it to your personal needs. User interface scale. I have this all the way down because I just genuinely don't like having it all the way like this. Like this just looks so goofy to me and I just really don't like it. So I personally have that all the way down. Show HUD, of course, have this on unless you're filming something like a cinematic. I have show chat on, but then I also have mute global chat on. So I can still, you know, if I'm on like a modded server, I can do a slash clan create and then, uh, you know, type in the chat easy. Or I can do, you know, explanation point pop, and then I can see the pop of the server and stuff. But at the same time, muting global chat means that I just don't get all the spam of just all these little freaks just typing in the global chat. Um, so yeah, just have this on or off to your personal needs. If you want to see global chat and you want to see people talking, then of course, don't mute global chat. But if not, then, you know, mute it. Also switch channels. I have this off. I wouldn't recommend having this on either. Just leave this as off. Show name tags, I have this on because it allows you to see your team members uh, and things like that. So just have this on and also kind of allows you to see names of players if they're close to you. So maybe if you're getting ghosted or something or if you're ghosting someone, then uh, this makes it a lot easier. Game tips, have this off. Like, come on, it, it, it's for us. You, you don't need game tips, boys. You make a bow, you make a DB, you make a play. You don't need game tips, keep this off. Inventory player model, I have this on because um, I want to see my characters drip. But at the same time, it just allows me to see the armor a lot easier and actually see what I'm wearing on my character. So yeah, keep this as on. Now over to the next thing, which is audio. I recommend having master volume all the way up. Uh, I currently have it 0.9, but between like 0. Point, mm, about 8 and 1. Uh, is in my opinion the recommended amount if you have it below you're just simply just not going to be able to uh, like hear people running around you uh, music volume i do not have this on i don't really like uh, video games music like i used to do this with fortnite rainbow six all these other games i just don't like the menu music and music is general so i just turn this off and then that goes hand in hand with the menu music as well i don't have this on um, but if you did have either of one of these on, I would recommend doing the menu music over the music volume. Because the music volume, when you're in game and stuff as well, you'll be able to hear it. Which, you know, will mask enemy footsteps and things like that. So, yeah, I just recommend having these two off. Voice volumes, you can seriously just play around with this. Um, I don't recommend having it really all that high. Because if you're in a fight and you down someone and they start screaming and you have this all the way up, you're not going to be able to hear anything. So, yeah, I recommend having this between, like... 0.2 and like one ish but i wouldn't recommend going above one unless you're like some role player kid or you're just chilling in your base uh game sounds volume i recommend yet again this is the same as master volume having it anywhere from uh 0.8 all the way up to one voice props volume just have this as about an 0.1 because if you're a role player and you're into that type of stuff then you know you can have it uh same with the instruments volume you can have it and then onto the instruments volume i recommend having this like 0.1 ish um if you don't want to hit instruments at all then of course just turn it off but if you are like a role player and you like having things like drum sets and shit like that then yeah just have this 0.1 0.2 voice props volume yeah again 0 0.1 0 0.2 if you're a role player if not you just turn it off it's really not that deep and then events volume i actually recommend having this slightly up not all the way up, because when things like presents and stuff come out at the Christmas events, um, if you have it, like, all the way up, it does kind of ear rape you a little bit. But if you have it, you know, like, 
like a 0.6, then you actually be able to hear the events and know when it's taking place. So yeah, I have this as like a 0.6, 0.7, and the speaker config, I recommend just having the stereo, but play around with your sound system. If you've got like some crazy sound system, then you know, you might want to change this. But for me personally, stereo works the best. Now onto controls. This is a lot more personal preference, but I will just scroll through my controls and you guys can just copy my controls if you want. But keep in mind, my settings are a bit goofy. For example, I do have um, my crouch on spacebar and things like that. So, you know, the, the key binds might not be to your needs, but yeah, you can definitely play around with this and uh, take mine as kind of an inspiration. But going down the list though, we'll go mouse sense first. I recommend actually playing with a somewhat higher mouse sense ever since the combat update. I play with a 1200 DPI and I play with about an 0.2-ish in-game. Um, so yeah, I recommend actually doing a higher sense now ever since the combat update. Aiming mouse sense. I don't actually play with a 1. I do it in the combat logs, um, like in the command console. That's how I apply my sense. I don't actually do it here. So although it says 1.0, mine's not actually a 1.0. I'm pretty sure mine's an 0.2 aiming mouse sense. So you can kind of go off that uh, however you like. Vehicle sensitivity, I just keep this on 1. I've actually never really changed this. So... Honestly, I don't really know what this does, um, but yeah, just keep that as like a one. Just keep it as the default setting. And then flip y-axis, probably have this off um, because this will seriously just mess with your mouse and seriously just mess with you as a player when you're looking around and stuff. So just keep this off. And the same with the flip vehicle y-axis as well. Keep this off. Uh, auto transmit voice, keep this off. Toggle duck. I recommend having this off um, because this is just when you press your crouch button and then you crouch and then you have to press it again to uncrouch. I personally don't really like it, but you can experiment with it. And then yet again, toggle ADS as well. I recommend keeping this off, but you can't experiment. Vehicle dismount hold time, boys. Now, if you're flying things like mini copters and you're prone to just hitting your space bar and just jumping out, uh, then make sure you have this actually slightly up. However, <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, however, um, I also at the same time don't recommend having this like all the way up because say you're countering something like oil rig and then you like fly your mini and you just absolutely dive bomb it into like helipad or something and you have this all the way up, it will actually take too long for you to get out and then you'll most likely just end up dying. Um, so I recommend having this, you know, if you're prone to jumping out frequently, like 0.2 maybe. But then if you're not prone to jumping out, I just recommend having this off um, because it just allows you to have a lot more fluent movement in things like minis and boats. Always sprint, I have this off. And then uh, media input as well, I have this off as well. And now I will scroll through my binds and then you can kind of just copy and paste whatever ones you like and then change whatever you dislike. <sighs> right now onto screen we'll first go through resolution i play with my default monitor resolution which is 1920 by 1080 if you have something like a 240 hertz monitor this might be something like i think it's 2180 by like 1080 it's like some weird number uh if you have things like uh a 240 hertz monitor but i just recommend playing with the default monitor resolution uh it looks the best it feels the best in my opinion uh, but if you do want that slight bit more fps or you just genuinely like playing stretch then i recommend something like a 1680 by 1050 or something like a 1600 by 1024 or if you want to go that extra bit extreme i recommend something like a 1280 by 1024 if you do want to play stretch um these give you a slight fps boost but how the game looks I personally just don't really like playing stretch. So yeah, I just recommend playing with your default uh, monitor resolution. 
your mode have this as exclusive if you have it as things like windowed or borderless this will just mess with your sps so make sure you have this as exclusive vsync do not have this on boys this is horrible i actually recommend turning this off in pretty much any game you play fps limit i play with about 100 fps limit because my pc just simply just can't go over that so there's just no point in having a higher one but of course if your pc is better up this a bit more and then if it's worse maybe lower it a bit more from experience if you have a no limit fps um and your pc is kind of dookie it actually won't optimize your fps as much as possible so have it in a range that your pc can actually obtain but at the same time not lowered to the point where your pc will just run poorly if you have this at like you know 40 fps then your game is gonna run horribly uh, but if your pc can handle something like a 70 fps then you know have this at you know 70 80 but yeah i don't recommend going below about 60 or 70 though on this fps limit but for now, I'm going to keep mine at 100. Now, limit FPS in background. You can actually do this if you go in the menu quite a lot. However, I don't recommend this because say you go into the menu very quick to change your audio. It will lower your FPS and then say you literally instantly go back in the game. It will then have to try to re-up your FPS again. And it will just kind of mess with your game. So I personally don't have this on. But if you do have a bad PC, then, you know, consider and turn this on. Limit FPS in menu as well. Uh, yeah, again, same thing. Um, same thing applies there. So experiment with this and see how it works with your computer. Now, onto the main thing, boys, which is graphics. We'll first go over graphics quality at the top, and then we'll go over mesh quality at the bottom. First, graphics quality. From experience and from research, Anything above a 3 or a 4 doesn't actually change your game, literally, at all. Like, it doesn't change your graphics quality at all. Like, it's so minute that you can't even tell, and it actually messes with your FPS so much. So if you have a high-end PC, I recommend anywhere from a 3 to 4. Do not have it above 4, because it will just mess with your SPS and give you no visual like results really and then you know if you have a lower end pc put this on a one i personally don't recommend having it on a zero because it just kind of looks kind of play-doh-y so have it between like a one to two if you're on a low such mid end uh mid end you know two to three and then you know mid to high end you know three to four but for now i'm gonna keep mine on one render scale do not have this anywhere below a 1.0 just makes your game look really blur and horrible so just make sure you have this on a one nvidia dlss i have this off shadow quality i have completely zero cascades do not have any cascades boys this is the same thing with the max gibbs uh option uh make sure you have this off it'll just it'll just mess with your fps so just make sure you have this off max shadow lights zero water quality zero water reflections zero shader level i have 200 it just allows shaders to you know look that a little bit better draw distance anywhere honestly above like a 1000 from experience doesn't actually allow you to necessarily see players better but what will happen if you go above this 1000 is you'll actually just be able to simply just see uh, the world better like if you're going to something like oil you'll be able to load that in quicker and stuff like that so i personally play with this at max shadow distance i have this all the way down filtering i also have this all the way down and then parallax mapping all the way down as well these things will just mess with your FPS and don't give you anything in return. Grass displacement, I have this on so that way I can see weapons when they drop off an enemy easier. Grass shadows, have this off. The video reflex mode, uh, people have actually told me that for them, just on gives them more FPS and then off works better for them and then on plus boost works better for them. So I've actually been told all three of these options work for other people and other people's computers but personally for me the best one is on plus boost so experiment with these three and experiment which ones give you the most fps latency marker have this off and then onto mesh quality particle quality have this all the way down do not have this up at all it'll just mess with your fps object quality i have this halfway because i've got like a mid-end-ish computer so i have this halfway but you can you know up and lower this uh as your pc sees fit tree quality as well i have this 100 
uh, and the max tree meshes have this at 50 because this will just be able to see things better through forests because if you have this all the way down it makes the trees and the branches look like play-doh and it just allows you to basically see nothing through trees so i recommend having this half to max and then terrain quality i have this all the way down yet again if you do have a better pc make sure you up this boys but from experience this just doesn't really visually look that good so just have it all the way down grass quality and decor quality i also have all the way down as well now onto image effects i play with anti-aliasing smaa which is personally what i recommend for the best looking and also the best fps wise but experiment with the four uh you know off and then the other three options but in my opinion smma is the best one depth of field have this off ambient uh, occlusion have this off again high quality bloom i have this on because it just makes my game look that little bit better but then basically the whole of these other options just have off all of these will make your game look horrible and also mess with your fps the only other one that i recommend having on is sharpen because this kind of makes your game look that little bit better and then also doesn't give you any fps hit like at all so it will just make your game look that little bit better uh, but then not give you any downside however some people say that sharpen looks a bit goofy uh, which i kind of understand that's why i currently have it off but yeah experiment with this one and have it on or off to your needs but the rest have it off and then onto the last one which is experimental make sure you have these three off they'll just mess with your fps and give you pretty much zero benefit and then optimize loading now this is a new one but if you actually have a pretty good computer with an ssd and you don't really have problems loading into servers and stuff i actually recommend having this partial because this is extremely good if you're getting offline rated and your teammate messages you and you need to load on this will be extremely good to have on because that way you'll be able to just load into the server way quicker than if you have this off so if you have a high-end pc and you don't have issues loading into servers like at all then have this as partial if you do have a low-end pc though and sometimes you know you might dc when loading into a server or whatever like that have this off 